Hi, I'm Dr. Kurt Wooler. Let's talk about folate, folinic acid, the new information that's really coming out recently about cerebral folate deficiency in autism. Cerebral folate deficiency has been a known medical entity now for many, many years. Kids tend to have poor growth, tend to have nervous system problems, speech problems, comprehension issues, attention problems. Uh, many times kids, their heads stop growing normally uh, at an early age, etc. And what has been discovered with these kids who have these problems, when they do research, what are called antibody testing, they find out that there are immune reactions occurring to the folate transport receptors. Now, in order to get folate, um, we, most people think of, of folate like folic acid, but um, in order to get folate taken into the brain, where it needs to be utilized as a nutrient for brain growth, etc., it needs to be transported um, across the brain, from the blood to the brain, um, into the cerebral spinal fluid and into the brain tissue um, to be utilized correctly. Well, if we have antibodies that are blocking those receptors, then we're going to have a problem where the blood levels of folate may go up, but the cerebral spinal fluid levels go down, uh, and then we start to have corresponding problems of folate deficiency. Uh, and there's been research testing that has showed, or and is showing, that a number of kids on the autism spectrum are showing up with these folate receptor or folate transport receptor antibodies. And I've done some testing in my office and I'm seeing that same trend. Now, Dr. Rosengall and Dr. Fry, who are two biomedical physicians and researchers in the biomedical field now, have been looking at this for quite some time and, fi and are finding that when kids are given high dose folinic acid, okay, more than what you would get from a regular supplement. Um, this would be something that would be, have to either be compounded, um, there are prescription doses of folinic acid, um, and kids are actually improving quite significantly with respects to speech, with respects to you know, general awareness and attention and focusing, etc. Uh, and this is very exciting information um, because as some of these kids, they've, they've done a lot of different types of biomedical therapy, but just overall, they just haven't responded the way um, that was originally anticipated. So I'd like for you to do a little more research into this. Um, look at cerebral folate deficiency, and you can even just do cerebral folate deficiency, comma, autism, and you'll come across a lot of information from Dr. Fry and Dr. Rosengall, uh, and I think this will be worthwhile for you to look at. I also have information through my member forum, the parent forum of the AutismActionPlan.com website, uh, and I'm available for questions regarding this and other therapies as well through that forum on a daily basis. Thanks.